Meteorology and oceanography can be very complicated. So we got to break it down into its parts and we have to start somewhere. Water vapor in the air is a great place to start because there's all of this energy within this water. The sun beats down on the water, the water heats up, grabs that energy and gets excited. Some of it turns to water vapor, goes in the atmosphere, and that water vapor contains tons of energy. So how do we measure that water vapor in the air? Humidity. Humidity is the general term used to describe the amount of water vapor in the air. And that's important because it leads to condensation, highs and lows and hurricanes, all these things. See all the clouds in a hurricane that spiral up? It's humidity. It's water vapor in the air. Humidity is the general term used to describe the amount of water vapor in the air. It's usually described in units per volume. There are several ways to describe it. We're going to look at relative humidity and dew point. These are two ways to describe it. Relative humidity is the percentage of water vapor in the air compared to the total amount of water vapor the air can hold at that temperature. And so when relative humidity reaches 100%, you hit the dew point. The dew point is the temperature at which air becomes saturated with water and cannot hold any more water vapor. It's at this point that condensation begins. Many mornings, you'll get dew on the grass. It's because that layer of air right there by the grass has reached its dew point, or the grass itself has cooled and cools the air around it down to its dew point, and then condensation begins. So as temperature comes down, air can hold less moisture. This is a tangled web, but we'll get through it. High air temperatures, Air holds a lot of moisture. Warm, moist air is less dense than cold, dry, dense air. So warm, moist air rises, cold air falls. The colder the air, the less water vapor it can contain. The warmer the air, the more water vapor it can contain. So warm, moist air rises because it's less dense than cold, dry air, which falls. We'll get into fronts, warm fronts, cold fronts, all of this stuff. But for right now, humidity is the general term to describe the amount of water vapor in the air. Relative humidity is the percentage of water vapor in the air compared to the total amount it can hold at that temperature. Dew point is the temperature at which the air becomes saturated with water and cannot hold any more water vapor. These are the three terms that you should be familiar with for this section. Let's keep going. We'll see you on the next one.